As we mentioned in the pregame show, the Iowa quarterback is starting his first game on the collegiate level. Randy Reiners starting for the injured Matt Sherman. This is his first start, a sophomore from Fort Dodge, Iowa. Very mobile, and as coaches say, somewhat of a free spirit. That's what he's done so far this year. The Iowa Hawkeyes, the skill position people, are led by the nation's leading rushers. We mentioned Tavian Banks. Watch, get a look at him on a, an off track today. Uh, Mike Goff is the senior leader up front and perhaps the most consistent of the offensive linemen for the Iowa Hawkeyes. Fairfield in starting lineups. Jared DeVries is one of the best defensive linemen Hayden Fry has ever coached. In the linebacking core, Matt Hughes leads the crew in tackles. And in the defensive secondary, Blaise Atkins. Two interceptions out of the shotgun. Jay Rogers tried to pitch it forward, and it's taken by DeVries out of the air. Jared DeVries, offended by Rogers, inside the 15-yard line. He tried to pitch it forward, try to shovel pass it. DeVries was there to pick it off, and the Hawkeyes make the first big play of the game. DeVries, one of the best linemen ever to play for Hayden Fry. The ball pitched right there, and Hogan knocks the ball up. DeVries, seeing that, does a nice job of reacting, catching the ball, and then trying to become a running back. Not going to get Tavian Banks to run for the offensive backfield position there, but look at his celebration and reaction. Not really expecting to play a lot today with the injuries he's had the last couple of weeks. Michael Berger, the fullback in motion. Reiner sets up a screen. Tavian Banks, and he's got a pink roll to the end zone. Touchdown! You're a young quarterback. You want to get the ball to your best offensive player as often as you can. Nice job of setting up the screen. Indiana completely full. As you can see, nobody in front of Tavian Banks as he catches the ball and just scrambles into the end zone. Tavian Banks, fastest to 1,000 yards in single-season NCAA history. And he was fastest to the end zone a few moments ago on a little swing pass from Randy Reiner as the first-time starter. Jason Spear, well diagnosed by Clez Atkins, and Kerry Cooks a loss of about three. Third down for Iowa, third and about 12. Reiners, they picked up the blitz well. Tim Dwight, first down at the 35-yard line of Indiana. Kywin Supernaut made the stop. That's our game next week. Tavian Banks. Banks running hard to the 29-yard line. Gain of 11 yards. Second down. Deep drop. Riders well open. Tim Dwight. Touchdown, Iowa. 29 yards. It is so much easier to play quarterback with Tavian Banks and Tim Dwight on your team. When Indiana comes with the blitz, they can only cover one-on-one. -on -one. And Jason Dwight, or excuse me, Tim Dwight, really separates himself from Joey Ellums in the secondary. Made a good move around Ellums. And puts Iowa on top by 13. And Zach Bromert for the point after. Robert puts it through the uprights. 29 yard, Randy Reiners. To Tim Dwight, touchdown pass, and the Hawkeyes lead by two scores. Browning in motion. Jason Spear, Jared DeVries on the stop, loss of two. And Sutkowski, it's good leverage into this kick. Tim Dwight from the 48. Hayden Fry calls number six in your picture the greatest competitor he's ever been around in 45 years of coaching. Tim Dwight and the Iowa Hawkeyes leading in this first half with 4.53 to go. Randy Reiner is getting more and more comfortable at the controls. Banks runs the reverse to White. Up and throwing. Wide open. Down the sidelines. It is Damon Gibson. Tim Dwight 
point in his career has scored touchdowns rushing, receiving, and that's his second touchdown pass. This time to Damon Gibson, 64 yards. Oh, well-designed play and well-executed by the Hawkeyes. But here you see Dwight coming back on the reverse. First of all, he does a nice job of tucking the ball away like he's going to run. Then he pulls up, Gibson sells run downfield, then he accelerates. And you see Indiana running into each other in the secondary, and that's a big reason why Gibson is so open like that. When your two safeties run into each other, there's going to be nobody left to cover Gibson. Gibson does a nice job catching the ball and then just outrunning everybody to the end zone. Rodgers got one-on-one -on -one coverage. Great catch. To the Hawkeye 22-yard line. To the Hawkeye 22. Play action, and Rodgers under pressure from behind, and down he goes. Ryan Lofton, beaten a moment ago, makes the sack. Three-yarder up at Wisconsin earlier this year. And this one is not going to get there. Tough day to kick the ball. It is cold and damp, and I imagine when you hit that ball, it feels like a rock. Rodgers picked off. Bowen has a chance to go all the way. He will. Touchdown. They come with the blitz. Bowen's man stays in and blocks, so that frees him up. He does a nice job of reading the quarterback's eyes, and once he catches it, he just becomes a runner, races to the sideline, and then it's just a foot race, and Rodgers is not going to catch him. First and 15 for the Hoosiers. Rodgers and the protection breaks down. Anthony Heron got over to make the tackle. He's a true freshman from Bolingbrook, Illinois, and they are very high on that youngster. They think he will be the next star in the defensive line here at Iowa. They gotta send us some of that sunshine. Sutkowski's punt to Tim Dwight. Here, they've got pretty good contain. He cuts inside that, and you can't even lay a hand on him, and he can just outrun everybody on this punt coverage team. He just out, he can just outrun all of them. Faster than a speeding bullet. Take a look at last week up at Michigan. Tim Dwight once again. This one goes 61 yards for a touchdown. I want to tell you, look at the contortionist at work right through the maze in blue. That put Iowa up 21 to 7 last week. My goodness. Tim Dwight has thrown a touchdown pass. He's gone 92 yards for a punt return for, for a touchdown. Second down at about eight. Fabian Banks looking to make something happen. down for the Hawkeyes inside the Indiana 45. Iowa's broken this game open in many ways. Play action to Banks. Jed Dull down the sidelines to the seven yard line of Indiana. Jed Dull, a sophomore from Lamar's, Iowa. what Randy Reiners gives you that Matt Sherman doesn't. It's the inexperience, but the ability to run, the ability to get around that rush right there and then duck that shoulder, use his mobility, get into the end zone. Well, that, you mentioned the quarterback situation. There is high hopes at Indiana for a, a youngster, the younger brother of Curtis Randall L. Antoine Randall L. is a great athlete at quarterback, and uh, he right now is... Uh, 
in the Indiana program getting his grades together and he'll be eligible next year to play and you're going to see a lot of that youngster. They are counting on him to be the guy for the remainder of his career and he looks like he could be a good one. Hannaford over the middle. Second down and banks again. You can only hold down a good runner for so long, and he's going to bust one sooner or later. 35 yards on that gallop for Tavian Banks. Willick in motion. Banks. They got him a touchdown to start the day through the air. They set up Tavian Banks on the ground as he carried the load on this drive. And picks up the rushing touchdown. Watch how he goes inside and then outside. There aren't many backs in the country with that acceleration. Hawkeyes being led by Scott Mullen at quarterback. Tavian Banks to the 25. Uh, the pressure go up to make it perform. Snap was fumbled. Indiana football. Tony Brown, the true freshman out of Dayton, Ohio, recovered it. Indiana takes over offensively. Hannaford. For Gene Paul, intercepted. Intercepted by Joe Slattery. Slattery blocked a punt last week in Michigan and gets an interception here this week. Intercepted by Looked as though the receiver were open. Gene Paul puts a nice move on and gets behind Slattery, but the ball is well underthrown, and Slattery has enough chance to recover, come back, make a nice catch on it. Nice interception. A new quarterback in the lineup, Corey Hauser, a junior from New Berlin, Wisconsin, West High School. He's up in your part of the country, isn't it? Up in our neck of the woods, a walk-on that Don Patterson was telling us yesterday he could step in and play, and they would feel comfortable with him in there. He's played very well. He's a junior. and will be back for his fifth year next year. Miller. Doug Miller, the sophomore from Mount Pleasant, Iowa. Second down. Gain of six of the previous play. And a to the air. Intercepted by the Iowa Hawkeyes. P.J. Lang. Touchdown. J.P. Lang on the interception return. 60 yards. Well, the Hawkeyes have scored just about every way you can. Just about every way and just about every time. <laughs> Aiden Fry happy for J.P. Lang, senior out of Heartland, Wisconsin, Arrowhead High School. Look at that. <laughs> We're not worthy. We're not worthy, he says. <laughs> Chad Johnson's kickoff. Make that to Ellums on the return. Fumble. Still up for grabs. Iowa football. Should be the final play of the game. Rob Tyne breaks a tackle. Smells end zone. Touchdown. down I believe the celebration rule will be invoked here off the penalty this will be a 35 yard PAT for Zach Bromert well, that's one of the few things that did not go right he hooked that one to the near side Indiana falls to one in seven oh and five in Big Ten play Iowa now five and two two and two in the conference Tim Dwight our player of the game
He tossed a touchdown pass. He caught a touchdown pass. He returned a punt for a touchdown. As he led the Iowa Hawkeyes to victory. For Randy Wright and Jim Barber, Wayne Larrabee, so long.